This is the next phone we're going to talk about. This is a Norwegian TP6N. Now what makes this phone unique is it's completely, no moving parts, it's fully electronic. These were made by the Norwegians in the 1970s. It was used actually by the Norwegians and the Dutch used it too. And basically you open it up like this. Oops. We'll go ahead and we'll put our batteries in here. Okay, we're going to put it back together. Uh, which made this phone interesting besides it being fully electronic to ring. You just push the button and it's got a little light that comes on when uh, you get an incoming ring. Um, this is an interesting phone because in order to use it you have to squeeze the handset to here too. Which I find interesting. Uh, uses the regular old field wire. It'll talk to, to other field phones. Uh, the Norwegians included their little card right there. It's got their phonetic alphabet on it. And here's basically operating instructions for the phone in Norwegian. It's pretty easy to use. Basically, uh, the wires go in here like this. And to make a call, you push the button. Here we go. We'll see what happens. You can hear it. It's really weak, but it's there. We'll call back the other way. And that's what it sounds like. Not the, the noisiest thing in the world. Um, <clears throat> because of the size, and these are pretty lightweight, these are used basically in a lot of uh, European cave rescue operations. So the, the rescue teams use these phones because they're easy to carry. Carry lightweight aluminum wire. You can string them out inside a cave where a radio wouldn't work. And like I said, that's the uh, TP6N.